Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and today I'm going to show you me working through a box of Conquest Games Norman Infantry for my uh, Normans in Sicily project. So I showed you a video of me making up uh, and painting um, some of the Norman knights, the mounted knights, and, and actually I was pleasantly surprised how good they were. I was a bit nervous about them, I was a bit concerned about them, but actually they painted up really, really well. And a few, apart from, you know, a few little frustrations maybe, um, the number of poses of the horses, etc., and the shields popping off, and I didn't like the fact that they have shield bosses, they actually came out really, really nicely. And for the price, I thought were excellent value. Um, and I would certainly buy more um, if I needed more, which I don't. Um, but the infantry, um, these are the, uh, let's just say, box of Norman infantry. You get 40 of these in a box. And they're actually really, really nice. Very nice indeed. Um, there is about six poses. Uh, oh, sorry, six heads. Um, one head with no um, uh, helmet or anything. Oh, we've got the traditional sort of Norman back, bald back of the head thing. I don't know what they call that. I should look it up. I didn't. You've got, um, I think it's about four with sort of, uh, looks like some sort of material coif on. And then one of them has a male coif. Um, then the body wise you have um is i think it's just is one in male which is a bit frustrating i wish there was a few more in male there's uh two in this sort of quilted armor and then the rest aren't wearing any armor at all of the five in each sprue um and and you know that makes up quite nicely but you've got a mixture of plenty of spears um some being held at uh, 45 degrees like that some being used more overhand overhand like that um, you've got swords as well to put on there no axes or anything like that it's swords or spears basically um, but they make up into really nice little kits um, the shields funny enough having moaned about the fact there was no bosses on the uh, mounted knights every single one of the foot soldiers um, the kite shields anyway have Bosses. Um, there's also options to put a few round shields on them if you want but again weirdly unlike the cavalry there's enough um, kite shields to put one on every single infantry man so you, oops, so you don't have to um, mix a few round shields in so I actually think they mold up they, they actually make up quite nicely again they're, they're simple simple molds um, because they're pretty cheap, you know, what's this, 20 quid for 44 figures is pretty darn good. Um, so you can see I've made up, um, well I've made them all up actually, and um, start, stuck them down on, on their bases. Um, I'm going to base them on four to a base, so I've done two and then two of these will stick on there as well. Um, two of these, or four of these are permanently stuck on these little bases as individuals. So I've marked them underneath so I remember that one's not. And that one's not. So they'll go on there. These will be separates. Um, so I'm going to undercoat them and um, we'll start painting them. I'll come back with an update. So <clears throat> the first eight are largely done. I've just got to do the um, cord on this uh, horn. I've done them just basically plain colours. Um, nothing special. Just because, unlike the these are foot soldiers, so they're not likely to have, uh, not likely to have had lots of uh, wealth. Um, so I'm just keeping them fairly straightforward, and they've come out right. I mean, they're they're just very similar to the uh, to the the mountain knights, really, in terms of the quality. Um, the only thing is the the heads a little bit difficult to get absolutely perfect on the body so like on this guy here I've had to sort of paint around the edging because that's actually sort of the join 
for that head, which is a bit annoying, but I'm sure once it's had a bit of a wash and a varnish and I've finished up, the, I've got to touch up a bit here, um, they'll probably look okay. So I've done, say, eight plus the wounded or dead guy uh, who will be a casualty marker for the unit. Um, yeah, not much to say about them, really. They're a bit like the cavalry, um, very easy to paint. Um, not an awful lot of detail, but enough. Um, the plastic's pretty good. It's fairly firm, so it doesn't bend much. Um, I've put the big man shield transfers on. These are again, uh, the Warlord ones seem to largely fit. Uh, I've had to touch up a couple of places on them just to make sure they, oops, they do completely. Um, I've chosen not to do the, sh the helmets uh, any kind of colours because um, unlike with the knights, again because I just want to have a, uh, these to be not quite the same sort of quality of troops. So I will wash these and um, may base them up and I'll be back once all that's done. Right, so they've all had a wash and been put on the base. There's the first eight plus the casualty man done. I've done a little bit of highlighting uh, on some of the folds and things just to bring those out a bit. A little bit of dry brushing on the uh, scale armour or padded armour. Quite pleased with how this fellow's come out. Slightly concerned, maybe um, I've left the spears too long. Maybe I should have cut them down a bit. Um, but I think as a little unit, also, uh, I'm beginning to regret my decision to leave the the helmets just pure metal. Whether I should have painted them up somehow, put a bit of colour to them. But anyway, we'll see what they look like on mass. First eight done um, I will be back when I've done the rest of this first 24 man unit Bosch so there we go that's the infantry well first block of infantry completed 24 figures um, based and um, yeah varnished up I think they're okay um, I don't think they're quite as good as the cavalry uh, if I'm honest but um, I think they'll do fine I mean um, it just basically is the sort of infantry component of my Normans. Um, I've just noticed I, <laughs> I painted, I, I varnished these when it was, um, I thought it stopped raining, but I think there are a few little drips of rain on those figures. Ah oh dear, I'm going to have to go and just sort of, I don't know, wash it, wash it off. Little white splodges, have you noticed that? Anybody uses um, sprays, uh, spray paints and spray varnishes? Um, if you um, do it while there's still while there's rain in the air, you get little splodges sometimes on the figures. Anyway, done. Um, I can touch that. Up. I can touch that up later. Um, these are. Um, I'm quite pleased with how they come out. I've done um, some of the guys with the sort of uh, the male shirts with the coloured helmets, um, like the mounted knights have. The rest of them just got bog standard, sort of rusty old old helmets um mixed bag spears and um swordsmen um i wish there was a few axes in oh, i mean there's double-handed axes in there as well but i wish there were a few sort of single-handed axes i suppose i could have cut one of those double-handed down uh, make it a single maybe i'll do that with second box um also there's the wound or dead guy who will be a casualty marker I've left a bit of space this time for putting some dice uh, or markers on there just to show uh, casualties on this unit. But um, yeah, quite pleased with these infantry. As I say, I don't think they're quite as good as the uh, cavalry, but they're they're all right. They'll do fine. Uh, they'll they'll form a nice part of the army. So um, this is 24 plus the wounded man. I've got another 20 to come uh, to paint. Plus, I bought four more figures to make another 24, um, so the Gripping Beast ones. So they should fit in quite nicely, hopefully. Um, so once that's all done, they'll be done. And that will be two units of infantry to go along with, uh, well, ultimately my two units of knights. So project coming together quite well. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Hit that notification button. That way you see when I post new stuff. 
Um, and I hope you are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. And um, I hope your projects are coming together really nicely. Uh, Christmas period approaching. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a tough time for some people. Great time for others. I hope it, if it is tough, please uh, reach out for friends, talk to people, uh, make contacts, um, you know, talk. Talk is always the best thing. And if you're going to have a nice fun time with the family, I hope you have a really good time with the family. I will see you again soon. This is Dom. Signing out.